Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are going to play around with a different size card. So I'm gonna show you how to make the very popular slimline cards. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have a couple of slimline card ideas to share with you. And I'm also gonna show you how to make a coordinating envelope. Now the cards in this video feature the Words of Cheer stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I will also be featuring the Christmas Cheer dies. We will use these fun little dies to decorate the front of our slimline card. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make the slimline card. So this is what the card looks like. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it's easier than you might think to make. So let me show you how to do this. So you're going to start with a seven inch wide and eight and a half inch long piece of cardstock. So you can really only make one card from an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So then you're gonna score the middle right down the center here at three and a half inches. So your card when closed is gonna be three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is just do some stamping with some Pear Pizzazz ink. So I'm using the same color ink as the cardstock just to give it a more subtle look. So I'm just gonna practice here. I'm gonna stamp my greeting first on the bottom. And then I'm gonna use this large kind of floral image just to create a little bit of a background here. Okay, so that's what our background looks like. So then I just cut some designer paper and some cardstock. So I'm using the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. So my designer paper is one and seven eighths inches wide and it's five and three quarter inches long. And then I have some Mossy Meadow cardstock. So this piece is two and an eighth inch wide and it's six inches long. So it just kind of fits really nice in the center here. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these pieces. So we'll just layer these together. And then we'll layer them together on the card front. So it just makes a really nice focal point and a great place to put our die cut words. So the next thing I did is just cut out this word cheer. So this was cut from some Mossy Meadow cardstock using one of the dies in the set. So it cuts out this entire piece. So that's really cool. And then I took some real red cardstock and I cut out the little pieces that are gonna go on the inside here. So this will accent our, uh, our word cheer, kind of you know, draw out the red that's in the card. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some glue over here. And I'm using a sponge. You can actually cut these letters out using um, adhesive sheets, but I'm just gonna use a sponge. I'll show you how to do this method. The adhesive sheets probably is a lot easier, a lot less messy. <laughs> but I just use a sponge to add a little bit of glue to the back of these letters and then we'll just kind of tap them down in the center of each of these little letters that spell out cheer. So here's what it looks like with the little red letters. It just accents it really nicely. So now you can just go ahead and add some glue on the back of these words here. And you don't have to add glue to everything. I just actually added it to the letters. And then we'll just go ahead and pop this up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer these little die cut pieces together. So I used the little star or floral images from the die set. And I'm just gonna use a little glue dot so I'll adhere these two together. 
And then I'm gonna take another glue dot and add it to my little leaves here. And then we will just add one more glue dot and adhere it to our card front. So you can pretty much adhere these wherever you want on your card. I just thought they made a really nice little addition. So these little flower pieces are cut from real red cardstock, and then the leaves I cut from some mossy meadow cardstock, so it all kind of matches, you know, our designer paper and everything that we're using. So we'll add, uh, let's see, we'll add another one here, and then we'll add another one over this direction. Okay, then I'm just gonna take some little gold metallic pearls and I'm just embellishing the center of each of the flowers. And then I also just kind of added some pearls throughout the card. So it's a much larger card. So instead of doing my rule of three, I did a my rule of five for much larger areas. So that way you can kind of spread it out all over the card. So that's what the front of the card looks like. And then for the inside, I'll just open this up. So to decorate the inside, I simply cut a three and a quarter, so it's three and a quarter inches wide, and it's five and three quarter inches long, and then I stamped a little sentiment in the center there. So I'm gonna add this to the inside of my card. And I cut the pieces at one by three and a quarter inches. So I used the same kind of designer paper, the same pattern that I used on the front. Um, I use that on the inside just to kind of decorate the top and the bottom. And you can of course leave this blank on the inside if you'd rather write a personalized message, but you do have a lot of room on here to be able to write a personalized message, so. So for the finishing touch on the inside, I just added another one of these little florals with some of the leaves just to kind of dress it up a little bit. So that's it. And you can decorate these any way you want. I just thought the big long words, the cheer would just look really nice, you know, coming down the front of the card, so. Okay, so since we have a huge card, um, it's not your standard card, obviously. We need a larger envelope for it to go into. So I decided to use some of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper to create my envelope. Um, so this just undoes, <laughs> I just undo this section, open this up, and then this has a nice little pocket for this to slide into. And then you can close it up and you can just rewind the thread back around these little circular shapes. So how cool is that? So you have your card inside the envelope and you have a very pretty um, decorated envelopes. So I'm gonna show you how to make this envelope so that when you make your slimline cards, you have something to put them into. Okay, so the next thing I have to share with you is this fun envelope idea. So I thought the perfect way to show you how to make this envelope was to create a little template. So this is the template um, that I'm gonna be using for creating my envelope. So basically you can use a 12 by 12 inch piece of designer paper, and then you're gonna cut your designer paper down to eight and a quarter inches by 11 and a half inches. So then once you cut your designer paper, then you're gonna score it, so on this eight and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score it at four and at eight inches. So you're just gonna have this little flap here. So across the top, you'll score it four, then you'll score it eight, and then you'll turn your paper. <laughs> so that's not quite the way I wanted it, but you'll turn your paper, and then you'll score at two and at 11. So just score it all the way across, even onto that little flap. So once you do all of your scoring, then you're going to cut out some of the pieces. So these places where on my template where I have this yellow, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of yellow highlighted areas. Those are the areas that you're going to cut out. 
So we're just gonna cut this entire piece off down here. We're gonna cut this entire piece off up here, including that flap, so that we're just left with what I have here with the red and white stripes. So then what I did is I took the basic border dies, so I just used this particular die. There's a variety of different dies in the set that you can use. And I closed my card, so I folded on the score line, I closed it, and then I laid this up on the, this is that two inch flap. So then I laid this on the two inch flap and I just cut this design into the top. Otherwise, it'll just be straight across. So you can use it straight across, or if you wanna get fancy, you can use this little border die and just create a fun little um, flap for your envelope. All right, so that is what it looks like when it is all cut. Okay, so let's get started on assembling our envelope. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just kind of fold on all of these score lines. So I'm just gonna use my bone folder just to kind of crease all my score lines. So this piece is just gonna come across here and we have this nice little flap that'll get adhered down to this side. And then on the bottom here, there's a little half inch flap. So we're gonna save that for last. And then this top piece here is the front of our envelope, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just fold this over. So I'm gonna fold this section over that has this little quarter inch flap. So I'm gonna add some glue on this little flap here. And this will hold the side of our envelope together. So actually let's just bring this over. So we'll just hold that down for a second. So that's the side of our envelope. So that nice little flap just kind of keeps everything together. And then I have this section down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna add some glue to this section. And then we'll just fold this up on top. So I decided to just add a one inch wide piece of designer paper just to kind of um, decorate my envelope a little bit. So this is one inch wide and it's four inches long. So our envelope is actually um, four inches wide, four inches across here. So this is just a little one by four inch piece. So I added that to the bottom. And then our top, we just fold this over and crease this down. So that's the top part of our envelope. And up there, I'm just gonna add a little half inch wide strip. So this is a half by four. And we'll add that just right here just to kind of decorate the top. And then to create this little piece here that you see where, you know, we have these little circular shapes and where I kind of wound the twine around to to keep it closed. I have a little half inch circle punch, so you can use circles um, or you can use, you know, whatever shape you have, but you want it to be small enough. So I'm just gonna add one of these here and I just pop them up with dimensionals and I'm gonna add another one down right below it. And then I just have some leftover twine from actually one of my paper pumpkin kits. So it's got a little bit of um, pear pizzazz in it. So I'm just gonna tie this. I'm gonna make a double knot right around this bottom one here. And don't pull it like extremely tight because remember this is only held on by a dimensional. So you don't wanna pull it too tight, but you wanna get it a little snug in there. And then we'll trim off this little extra piece here. And then all I did was just kind of wind this around these little circular shapes around my little dimensionals until I kind of got it snug. So just a couple times, I guess and then trim off the excess. 
And so that's what our envelope looks like when it's complete. <laughs> and then um, we'll just go ahead and decorate this. So I'm just using the same kind of little floral and these little holly leaves, I'm using that same kind of arrangement on my envelope to decorate it. And then we'll put one down on the bottom here. Then I'll go ahead and add some little metallic pearls. And that's pretty much it. So how cute is that? And so then you can open this up and your card just slides right in here. So we'll just slide that right in there and there's plenty of room. And then we can close this by winding this around. There you go. And that's it. So let me bring back the card. So here's the card and the envelope so that you can see them together. So it was a lot of fun. I really like this slimline card design. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm gonna to show you one more card idea. So this is just a little decorating idea. Let me move this out of the way. So this design here was created with the Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper, but then I decided to use some different designer paper. So I just wanted to give you just a little different idea. So it's the same concept, the exact same measurements I just shared. I just used different pattern paper to put this one together and I did a little bit of heat embossing on this one. But I just wanted to show you that you can really use any designer paper that you have, any supplies that you have on hand to create these. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to create a slimline card and a coordinating envelope. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.